Hello guys, Cinder Games here, and welcome back to another Team Fortress 2 HUD review. Today we're going to be reviewing Ant HUD. Uh, this is a uh, minimalistic kind of HUD. Uh, I mean, a lot of HUDs are minimalistic, but this one is... Uh, it takes a very a very simple approach, which is it's nice to see. Uh, so, um, without wasting too much time, I know you just want to see the, the HUD. Uh, let's go on with it. So, first of all, starting off, we've got the, uh, the uh, overlay menu. I'm not sure what you'd call this. Uh, the scoreboard. Um, it, it, it like most HUDs, it just tells you what you need to do. As you can see in the bottom left, you've got your KD, uh, and then you've got all of your more specifics uh, along the bottom. Uh, very nice and clear. I like the font with this HUD. Um, you've got your uh, your class and your score and your ping and your name, and that's what you need really. You got the time, the map, the players, and obviously the team scores, and that's that's all the menu needs to do. It doesn't need to be big, and as you can see, like. It's all except for the, the 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 actual writing and the red and blue bars at the top. Uh, the the bulk of it is see through. So actually, you could, if you really wanted to, uh, you could really just play the game with this with this scoreboard on. Obviously, it'd be very annoying, but you can see through it, so it doesn't obscure your vision if you're just taking a quick glance at the scoreboard. Um, the the class swapping menu, uh, as you can see, it's got on the left. Uh, you can't see my mouse actually, can you? Um, but it's got the um, it's got your characters, uh, and if you've watched any of my other videos, then you'll know that I do like this in a uh, in a character menu. I like to be able to see my uh, not so awesome outfits that I've got for them, um, and I think it's just a little nice thing. Uh, it's a bit offset, which I quite like. It's it's well balanced. It does seem to be a little bit to the left. That might just be me, but um, it's fairly nice. And obviously, it doesn't take up the whole screen. Uh, you can still see what you're doing. Um, yeah, and uh, now for the, uh, the the team menu. The team menu, I'm not a massive fan of. I think it's too big. I think it should be much, much smaller, a bit like the class menu. I mean, obviously, it's it's very obvious what you're doing, and you're not going to be swapping teams an awful lot, but I just think it, it takes up too much of the screen. It's ugly. Like, I've got... I don't know. I just... I, I, I think the, at least the red and the blue actual words should be sort of in the middle of the boxes just it's they're too far out on the screen for me uh, but that's just that's my personal opinion uh, I'm showing the HUD but I'm also giving my opinion on it that's why it's a review uh, so now let's go and look at some of the different classes okay so we're gonna start off here with the engineer uh, as you can see you've got your metal in the bottom right which is what you want uh, You've got uh, your buildings on the left in a very uh, clear format. They haven't got any stupid boxes around them. It's just uh, what you need to see. Uh, the build menu is uh, it's very clean and it's once again it's uh, transparent, so you can uh, you can see through it. Uh, which I like. It's important. Just I, it's important to always be able to see what you're doing or like what's going on around you in this game. So uh, I like that about the uh, the build menu here, uh, as you can see, like. As you can see, you can see behind them. And obviously the uh, destruction menu is very similar to the build menu. Uh, that's almost always the case with HUDs. Um, but yeah, apart from that, uh, I think the engineer the engineer HUD's very nice in this one. Uh, so moving on to Medic. Uh, the only thing to show with Medic really that's unique is the, uh, the Uber charge. Which as you can see there, it's in the bottom left. Bottom right, sorry. Uh, and that, that'll just go up. Uh, that, it's sort of a personal preferencing with medics, uh, whether you want your uber charge there where your ammo is, or whether you want it sort of in the middle of the screen uh, under the crosshair. Personally, I fall into the latter category. I'd rather have my uh, uber charge visible at all times and with all weapons as well. Like even if I've got the uh, this thing out or whatever, I'd like to be able to. Like I guess you can with this, but um, with the, with, with the uh, the blood sword guy, I'd like to be able to see my uber charge. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the case. Maybe it is, but it doesn't look like it from here. Um, so what I'm what I'm trying to say with the medic's uber charge is I'd much rather have it like the spy's cloak, as you can see here. Uh, it's visible with whatever weapon you've got out. Uh, there's a knife bar there as well. That's purely because I've got the spicicle. Um, and as you can see, it just goes down very nicely. It's really easy to sort of. You don't have to look at it to see how much uh, cloak you've got left. Like in the in the default HUD, you have to look at the bottom one of the bottom corners of the screen. And uh, I mean, 
the diamond back is what I'm using as well, and that's why I've got the little crits on the bottom right there. And that's that's nice and easy to see as well. The main thing that all HUDs do, all custom HUDs, is they shift all the important information closer to the crosshair, so that you don't have to be looking at the corners of your screen. So that's why you can see very nicely we've got the uh, the health and the ammo uh, sort of pushed up. I know I didn't mention them earlier, but th the reason I don't mention them is because almost every single custom HUD, I mean look at my other videos, they've almost all of them have got uh, this thing with the uh, ammo and health put up, just because it's uh, so much so much more useful, because you don't have to look as far to see the uh, the really important stuff. Uh, quick glance at the disguise menu as well, uh, as you can see it's very nice, it doesn't take up the whole screen like it does in the default HUD, uh, it's just a little menu down the side. I, I would, I'm not sure if there is a way, probably my FOV actually, uh, to get this uh, cigarette case smaller, but I mean you can see more and that's important because obviously as a spy you don't want to be you don't want a pyro to walk up on you or something, so it's it's, it's just good. Um, and if you uh, if you disguise, you don't get any images in this HUD like you do in the default. Uh, like you can't even toggle them on or off. Um, but you do get the name of the person you're disguised as. I'm in a, a custom server, so that's why I'm disguised as me. Um, but I mean, the only slight problem there is that you may forget what you're disguised as. But let's be honest: if you're any good at spy, you probably shouldn't be forgetting what you're disguised as. So uh, now we've looked at the actual in-game menu, uh, now we're going to go and look at the uh, sort of main menu, inventory, that kind of stuff. So I'll see you there. Okay guys, so here's the main menu. As you can see, the first thing you'll notice is uh, the very pretty sort of uh, bamboo forest in the background. I'm a fan of that personally. I think it looks nice. The background doesn't have to be completely TF2 related, I think. I mean, I'm quite happy to be greeted by a nice forest. Uh, this bar at the top I'm pretty sure can't be changed now. Uh, in the sort of newer updates of TF2, so that's there. But the only thing that's different is the font is the font is the same font that's used throughout the HUD. So I mean that's quite nice. As you can see, it's just a it's just a different font, but the pictures and stuff are all the same. Uh, it, it tells you the HUD up there, Ants HUD. Uh, you've got these these things here, so you can see your achievements, uh, the demo UI, the min mode toggle. I couldn't get that to work, even with the the con like reloading the HUD, uh, and you've also got quick access to the console, which I, I guess is nice. Uh, on the right here, you have a friends list. Uh, in the in the video, it will be uh, blocked out just because I, I don't want you. I mean, I don't. I know you're probably not going to track me down on Steam, but more for my friends' privacy than anything else. I just don't want you to be seeing them. Uh, but take my word for it, the size of that box on the screen is a friends list. Uh, the background of it is see-through, like uh, this column on the left, and it's just got your friends and their profile pictures in the font, and just, just a selection of them. Uh, it says your name. Uh, I'm not Cinder, but <laughs> it's just a joke name. You've got your little badge. Uh, I've obviously not played a lot of TF2 since the updates came out. Um, and now for the, uh, the, the sort of main sub-menu, so you got your you got the Manco store, uh, it's it's just the Manco store, um, there are hotkeys for all these menus which is nice, so you've got Q uh, to go back. Uh, going into the inventories, as you can see you've got the uh, basic pictures for your classes, which I, I mean I guess is fine, they are a bit pixelated uh, by this point in time, but that's not the, the HUD's fault. And you've got your, uh, your other menus down here, uh, so if we just go and look at the scout for example, uh, it's very nice. It's got the men, uh, the uh, the weapons on the left, and your uh, miscellaneous items on the right, and uh, you can you can just move around your your character here. So it's nice for seeing them from different angles, and uh, you can also change the color if that's what you want. Uh, it, it's it's useful and it's quite easy to use, and it's very clean, which I like. Uh, so that's good. Uh, just going into the backpack quickly. As you can see, I've got a ton of crates, um, but yeah. It's got hotkeys, which I am a fan of, uh, A and D, it means you can go very fast, uh, you can like pick something up for example and flick through uh, to go through the menus really quickly and you can always uh, hotkey out with Q. Uh, so I just like hotkeys, it makes your, it makes it so much quicker just to, to go through menial stuff in TF2. Uh, I won't show you replays uh, or the workshop, but uh, the options menu, this thing I've said before I'm pretty sure you can't change. Uh, but the advanced options is just in a nice little box, and it's got uh, it's just got all the stuff changed into the font again. I mean, uh, that's really it for the UI. Like you can't do a uh, 
a lot with the main menus. You can you can set them off to the side like this, which is nice, and you can change the colors, the background, the font, but you can't really change the hierarchy, if you know what I mean. You can't you can't put all of these sub menus under one new thing. Like it, it has to have the same sort of the buttons on the top. At least at least as far as I know about HUD creation, I've not done a lot. Uh, but anyway, that's a uh, I think that's everything to see with this HUD. Uh, as usual, the download link will be in the description below. Uh, I may have been a bit rusty with this HUD review, I'm sorry. May have forgotten some things. If I have, please remind me uh, by commenting below. I, I'm going to be doing more of these HUD reviews, but I've not done one for about two years now, so I'm a little bit rusty. But anyway, this has been Ant's HUD. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, I've been Cindy Games, and I'll see you next time. Uh, take care.